What's going on guys? I'm here with the F100 Ghost brushless drone. Um, I showed you guys a little bit of it in a flying video and uh, one of them where I was just talking about it. So I thought I'd do the unboxing for it. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, sorry about that. Um, this is one hell of a drone guys. Um, I mean there's a lot of good drones, but you're not getting a good drone for this price. I paid about a hundred bucks, just a little over a hundred, and I could have gotten it for around sixty-two dollars, but not this version. I would have got the Bugs Three, and uh, that one would have came um, for about eighty bucks at the time. It was on sale though for sixty-five, so with taxes it was like seventy. And I could have bought that one, so that's another brushless, same same drone, just uh, just you don't get a few things that's in this one. So um, um, I could have gotten that one, but I spend a little more money. I said I'll, I'll just go for the hundred dollar deal, and uh, I'll buy the F1 Ghost by Force One, which is basically it is. It's a rebranded uh, Bugs Three drone. But with some extras, so I said I'm I'm just gonna wait for that one, and I did. I bought this one, uh, was one day shipping, and <clears throat> it took a couple of days to come. It actually came late. Uh, I was very disappointed, and they I actually called them, asked them what happened to it, and they said that they didn't have it. It never left the factory. Um, they were going to go ahead and send another one. And then all of a sudden, it just came. So I guess they didn't even know what they were saying. There must have been a slight delay in the mail itself or something. And uh, they just thought it was lost. Sorry about that, guys. I got interrupted. But like I was saying, um, they thought that they didn't even send it from the factory. Uh... Then after they told me that I would have to reorder it. No, they were going to resend me another one. And then I uh, was going to wait and I got a couple messages and it said it was here. So I was very happy. Anyways, let's go ahead and um, take a look at this. Let's take a look at this box. It comes in this box, which you're not going to throw away. You know, you're going to keep this box. And... Uh, <clears throat> We got our brushless motors, and there's the size as well. So they're 1806. And uh, there's your KB. So you guys could go ahead and pause that and read that. So those are all uh, individual uh, ESCs. So every ESC has its, I mean, every motor's got its own ESC, which is pretty cool. And uh, this is what the extras come in and if you turn it to its side you get a little preview of the transmitter turn it this side you get a preview of everything that is in this box so that's quite a lot guys And here is the other side, I think, yeah. And the bottom. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this open. All right. And then it comes in. In this box, you get another foam. There's a foam in there, so uh, it's like a little foam case for it, sort of. And this is where the drone lives anyway, so I, I keep putting it back in the box because I have nowhere to let this thing just sit. And B, so it has to go back into the box every time. So it comes in this nice foam little box here, guys, which is pretty cool. Really nice. 
you know, that way everything stays nice and neat. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here's a little pamphlet for uh, your action cam. Kind of gives you everything of how to use it. We're not going to go through it, but uh, it gives you a manual for your camera so you can learn how to use it. Um, we go through here. You can register this drone. And it, it, this is a drone that you will have to register, although I'm not going to do that. I am not paying tags for this. I already pay tags for my vehicle. I'm not paying for a drone because <clears throat> that's basically what a registration is, which is kind of dumb, but I get it. There are people that act stupid with drones, so they got to keep track of them, but it's just dumb. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, anyways, I don't even fly this guy around too much. And where I do fly it, they're not going to sit there and tell me, Oh, do you have a license? So, uh, here we go. Here's, and we open it up. It's just nice looking, guys. It just looks great. I mean, you look there. It's really nice looking drone. Let's see if I get some more light on, on this. Sorry guys. So uh, it's very well packaged, very well. It's even better packaged than this, guys, because you remember I already used it multiple times. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, because I used it multiple times, it is repackaged by me. So it's not done as good, but it's done pretty good. This is pretty much what it looks like, and that's just really nice. So you get like these little bags covering the, the motors themselves, just in case. Um, you know how sometimes those crappy deliver guys come and they just dump your product wherever, you know, boxes sitting in a puddle of water because maybe your driveway is unleveled. Uh, it's happened to me, but this is good that it's got this. So that that way, water doesn't get into the motors. So, let's go ahead and get started like I was going to. So, we get a, a charger, guys. This is our charger here. Very nice. It's not going to burn the house down, that's for sure. This feels like quality. Um, this feels pretty good, guys. If I were to just swing this around... And uh, crack someone in the head. I'm pretty sure I would do a lot of damage because this thing feels pretty, pretty heavy. So then we got this here, which is our charger. You guys can see it's it's pretty basic, but it'll do the trick, and it doesn't really matter because I have a hobby grade charger that's decent enough. So you see, it's got the Bugs 3 logo on it. Man, that just got really dark. So it's very basic. It's just for a 2S light bulb, but that is still nice. It uh, does charge pretty decent. It doesn't take too long. The battery is not all huge in the first place, so that's not that bad. I believe this one in this had some screws in there, but it, you know, I told you guys I already opened this. So and then we go over here to this side. You got a charger here. And if you see, that is for your uh, camera. So we just put that back, guys. Then we got some tools here. And you guys can see the tools. So we get a bag of screws. And those screws are going to go for your uh, landing gear. If you're going to put that on or not. So you, if you open this up at a park or something, you're good to go, man. It, the only thing you would have to do is charge the batteries if you had a power brick. Um, they come in good storage charge, I checked. So they're like 3.8, so you wouldn't have too long to wait. So you could actually get this working in a, in an actual park or something because it comes with this little screwdriver here. And uh, these put take off the blades. They're not You can use them to put them on, but you don't really have to put them on that tight. They are self-tightening. So we'll put that back there. 
That is a nice little wrench, though, guys. And uh, let's see. If we turn this box this way around... Then you guys can see as I'm pulling out this. So here is the camera holder. So this right here is going to hold your camera. This goes down like that. Little camera goes in and then uh, locks up like this. When you first get this, this will be very difficult to uh, open. It'll even feel as if you're going to break it. But just, just pull it down and it will, it'll pop and it'll start to work after really good. So this is the mount, which is pretty good. It's even got like a little bit of dampening in there, guys. So that's not bad. It comes with a few foam pieces, just in case the camera's got a little jello motion going on. You can shove a couple of pieces of foam in there. And then we go on, well, we just leave it out. So then we go on to this, and here's your action cam that comes with it. Pretty cool camera. I have not used this, guys. I said I was going to do some stuff with it, and I just never did. Here is uh, where your battery goes, right here. I would open it, guys, but it's a little delicate. That It's not the best camera. Here's your uh, little preview screen of what you're filming. Um, your on and off buttons right here. And mode. And then your OK, you know. And I have it in 720p. I think it looks better in 720p than in 1080p. But it does um, film in 1080p as well if that's uh, what you're looking for. You got your battery there. I mean, there, this thing's full of a... Uh... So I'm trying to look for files, but I have none. And uh, if you hold this too, I think you get... Uh... Yeah, so you can go through it. There's, there's settings. All that good stuff, guys. All that good stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's not the best camera, but it'll get you by until you can get your own camera that's like this exactly like this but uh wireless so that way you can connect your phone to it so that'll get you by and some of those cameras they sell on youtube i mean excuse me as on amazon um they will fit they will fit in their wireless and they will fit in that little camera um in this little camera holder they will so uh, we've seen this now let's go over here, guys. Let's go to uh, what's inside this part of the box. So that's this part here. All right. So right now I got the propellers. So they give you one set here. This is one full set. Take one out, look at it. Really nice. Tells you which direction and everything, so you don't. They're like idiot proof, which is really cool because if you don't know anything about drones, this will tell you which way you're supposed to spin it on. So that's cool. So it came with uh, two sets, guys. That's that's pretty generous. That's generous. I think it is, considering the price. You don't get much for a hundred bucks these days. Here's the other set. So that was that was nice of them to throw in that. Um, we got our landing gear here. Here's our landing gear, which I already used multiple times. Put it back in here. It's got little foam feet, so it does not land and just shock. You know. So that's that's cool. You got your two. It does hold in two screws. And a peg, so you put the peg in, and then you put the two screws in. It's solid, guys. It is solid. Um, then we go on. They give you a extra body, which is white. 
nice very nice body and uh, you see this underneath these things are just so easy to like you know some guys add their own Wi-Fi antennas and because the plastic is so easy to work with they make little holes and they just come out great then we get our other body which is uh, like this blue I remember the RC sailors they um, had opened this drone up they did an unboxing and they put an RC uh, sailor sticker on it and it actually looked pretty cool because it's like I guess this blue right here it, it makes it does look pretty cool with their with their sticker so same thing extra body then we get our uh, with screws so these things these are your prop guards and they go in with screws they feel there's a bit of weight to these guys they're not super heavy but there's a bit of weight I can feel that so if you put these on this will take away time I didn't put them on guys but uh, maybe the next time I fly I might put them on it's just it looks really big with them on and then that's when people start looking and so I'm telling you um, I've had more problems with drones than RC cars. I had people look at me and uh, like start wanting to call the police on me just because I'm flying a drone. So I don't want to make it look too big. So these are the prop guards. Um, then we get our batteries here. I'll take this one out here. Very nice. And these are like some mini XT60s or something. I'm not sure what that what that is called, guys. And let's see if there's something on there. I'm trying to see if I can see something. I think it says XT200. F. I think that says that. There's no way you guys will be able to see this, but it does. It does say what kind of uh, they are. They do give you that. All of them do. Yeah, XT200 or 300. Something like that. But they, they look good. They look good and they hold a decent amount of current because of their little... They're, they're pretty cool. Pretty cool. And you got your 7.4. So it's not using a 7.6 high discharge, like a super high discharge. Usually lipos will uh, use, I mean drones will use those type of lipos that are 7.6. But this just uses a regular 7.4, 25C, 1800 ma battery. And you can see that it is in this caddy here. So uh, if you were to open that up right there, um, take it apart. Um, these stickers right here would be not letting you, so you'd heat them up, take the stickers off, open this up, guys, and you can put a new battery in if you want, just in case if the battery's swollen or it's no good anymore or you, you want to upgrade it to something better, you can open this little caddy here and put in your own battery. And it's even got the Force One logo there, which is really, just really nice. It's got your balance lead there. Just really nice quality, guys. Just a really, really awesome uh, drone, guys, for the price. Then, if we go here, we got the drone itself. But right before that, guys, underneath here, we got the actual transmitter. And we'll take a look at that before we look at the... Sorry about lighting, guys. I really need to buy some lights. Um, so here's the transmitter. This one didn't doesn't do anything, guys. But all the rest of them, you can maneuver them, move them around. Um, you got your two buttons here to turn the to arm the propellers and unarm them, disarm them, and arm them. You got these fake antennas here. They're all right. They look pretty cool still. I put them up and pretend they're real. You know, people don't know. Um, then you got two more buttons over here, which I forgot what they do. I think one of them's for your speed or so. Oh, here we go. 
What are you, idiot? So it tells you here what they do. This one's for your camera. And this one, I think, was for your speed, guys. Oh, no, your speed's here. Low and high. Arm, unarm. Uh, take a pictures. But that's only if you have the built-in camera. This won't do anything. And I forgot what this one does. I just can't remember on... I just can't remember right now. <laughs> Looks like there's some trash in here or something. A bunch of foam or something. Sorry about that, guys. But here it is. It looks good. Your batteries go in here. I just got some cheap batteries in there. I should change those out. But I remember um, using those because I didn't really trust my rechargeable batteries. Because when you use rechargeable batteries, they are only 1.2. That's how much the cell is. And a regular battery is 1.5. So you start dropping down volts, and you don't want that when you're using a transmitter. You want it to be as strong as possible so that you don't lose signal. And um, if I use rechargeable batteries with it, it drops down too many volts, guys. So I use a, I just use my regular batteries for it. But uh, you can turn it on. It's got a little light there. It's green. It's got sound indications. So that's, you can't go bad with that. It's got the nice logo there. And I just think this one looks a little more better than the Bugs one that comes with the Bugs 3, the white one. I still think this one looks a little bit better, a little more uh, adult looking, you know, a little more hobbyish. Um, it's got this handle right here. So that, I love this handle here, guys, because... You can hold this and the drone at the same time, you know? So I really like that. But the only thing it does not have um, for you to put your lanyard here. So that kind of sucks because I really use those. Whenever I lose control of the drone or helicopter, whatever you're flying, you can immediately just grab it. Um, maybe it's flying too close to somebody and your flying skills are not going to get it out in time. You can simply walk up to it and just grab it, you know? Not bad. Really nice drone. I mean, a uh, nice transmitter. But like I was saying, guys, you no lanyard, so you can't just uh, walk up and grab it or if it's going to crash or whatever it is, you know? You can't grab it because you have to hold on to this and then you're trying to grab the drone at the same time. So that's the transmitter. Here's the drone itself. So. Very nice. There's the motors there. Which feel pretty good. Um... We got the light. It's got a really, really bright light. It's got these other lights on the bottom, guys, all the way around. I believe you guys saw them in the preview video that I had of it. You can buy a camera right here, guys. Um, you can buy two cameras. You can put one here and one down there, but not at the same time. So you can use the light here and uh, put the camera. It comes with a wide fish angle lens camera. Which looks pretty good, and it's a five. It's a five gig camera. Both of them are five gigs, fifty bucks. They're around fifty bucks a piece. So yeah, I might try the the regular one. I don't know about the other one. It did look good, guys. It looked like really, really. It did look like really fish eyed. It looked pretty cool. It did. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It it looked good. There's some videos of some guys showing you the video. And um, the lens is really round, and because of that, it just looks crazy when it's so high in the air. It does look pretty cool. You can see right here, here's where your, um, your, uh, where is it at? Your camera holder would go right here. Right there, so it goes in here like this. Right there, and it keeps going all the way until you slide it back here, like that. And then you put this around here, like that, and it kind of keeps it from going any further. 
really nice. It, it, it's really well built, guys. They just really put some thought into this drone before they made it. Um, feels really good. You can pop these tops off by pulling these little guys like this and pulling up on it. It, it pops off and pops on really easy. But I'm not going to take it off, guys. Um, very nice. Feels decent. Not too light. Not too heavy. But it is more than 250 grams. 250 grams. You can see where the battery slides in here. It's got these nice foams. It doesn't move around or uh, slide in any way. It stays still. Here's its connection. It just goes right in here like this. Very nice, guys. You can see that's right there. And we put the transmitter. Uh, it just connects by itself. And uh, uh, the battery's dead. Yeah, it's a lot of noise. Let's just go ahead and turn this off. I wouldn't have never turned off the transmitter first without the, if these things had blades on them. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's the end of this video. The Force One, which is really the Bugs 3. Really great drone, guys. Um, it's still on Amazon for around the same price. I think it's about 110 bucks. I paid about $108 for it. Really awesome drone. Um, best thing I've ever... One of the best things I've ever bought on Amazon, guys. So, yeah, guys. That's the F100 Ghost drone. Very nice. I definitely recommend this. Just uh, don't... Don't even go... A lot of people think... Oh, I want to be, I want to go into the RC hobby. Where's the cheapest stuff at? Or I want to get into drones. Where are the crappy drones? Like, no, guys, you guys got to go straight to like this. But I know everybody's money. Everybody doesn't have money. Everybody's situations are different. Some people have tons of money, but they just can't buy a drone at the moment. Um, So there are other options. But me, I should have just went full blown to this drone and I would have been very very happy it works really well it's a uh, really nice looking and it's a head turner and it's just a really really you can tell when you're flying it it just feels good it's really bright just a really nice drone guys and I want to do a couple of passes with it but uh I'm still learning how to fly it it's not it doesn't have altitude hold so it is a little tricky, but you can upgrade it and um, change this transmitter out and it will have um, after um, altitude hold. So there are a few mods you can do on this and upgrades. and So it's a really nice drone. Parts are very easy. You guys know that. I mean, it's a Bugs 3. Um, if you see the RC Sailors or even other channels, they really adore this thing. And that's because it is just one really sweet drone really nice for the for the cash it costs you're like practically stealing it guys you know someone else would want to sell that for like maybe 200 bucks you know how our world is but that's the end of this one guys i just wanted to do a quick unboxing really really nice drone and uh, i definitely recommend it so I'll be back, guys. I've ordered some new things. They're coming in the mail, so it'll take a little bit to get here. But um, in the meantime, I got some other things, too, that I'm going to go buy. And uh, we'll be doing a video. I need to go to Best Buy and see if I can buy it. Uh, they have some indoor drones. I'll probably buy a drone there or something. Put it on the channel today or tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned for that, guys. And, um, yeah, I'll be back with some more videos. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And remember, this, this drone is the F1 Force, not the Bugs 3. It's the Force, Force 1 F100 Ghost. Um, I suggest you get this package. It's, it's got more for your money. So, yeah. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching.